Not to water everything. I think our neighbor has a Whoa. Oh, he does. Look at it. So it's evening. I was gonna come out earlier, but my neighbor had a literal dream. Yeah, I'll do this tomorrow. Everything looked like it took on a good six inches overnight. So I'm glad the drone ran me ran me back indoors yesterday. I wouldn't have captured all this growth. Got my three callaloo here. This has a couple of weird leaves. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm not worried about it. I need to cut, the, I'm gonna uh, prune some of those uh, lower branches off. Red okra, vegetable spinach. Here's that red vein sorrel back there. I noticed that the red vein sorrel only has that white fly problem when it's in full sun all day. I did put a couple of snow peas in this bed because I know snow peas can be harvested as they grow. Cucumbers. Here are all my peas. They're doing beautifully. When those are ready, I'm going to harvest them all at once. Patio tomatoes are the truth. So those are nice and full. The Meyer lemon is getting more leaves. The red currant tomato. Even the red currant tomato in the backup pot is flowering. I didn't have anything to put it in, and so it said, okay. I was like, I'll be right here if you if you get anything, you know, just let me know. Orange bell pepper. I'm thinking about topping it off. What the hell, that looks like aphids or something. And also on that one, I'm gonna spray those right in the top. Oh yes, that's what I wanna see. I had some of this in the front and it would not go away. It would be a nice ground cover. It has kind of thick leaves, almost succulent-ish. Here are my other three catalogs. The okra down there. These birds are dropping some kind of seeds. I think the birds are dropping seeds of some sort. These bad boys are flowering. I'm gonna cut the tops off of these though. Cause why are they flowering? Why are my calendar flowering? I'm gonna top off the other ones. I mean, I want seeds, but I have two of the mini white cucumbers in front and I have um, the Space Master on the side and then back. Here's my Bucello. There's my old timey blue collar. These are Callaloo. These aren't even that big, and this one is flowering. That is a weed. That's a weed that looks like Callaloo. This little one here, that's a weed. Get your ass out of there. And it's a weed that attracts the bugs. And my Poplano pepper is making a comeback. It's peas all along the back all along this fence here and they'll be ready when about a couple of weeks after my other peas here's my comfrey it's not getting very tall this rhubarb dough this rhubarb dough y'all the stalks in front are like two feet tall these leaves look infested with aphids I thought it was just a small leaf that was growing, but it's actually, look at that, it's actually being attacked, I think. 
rip these flowers off. Cause we are not about that life. I sprayed uh, my bell peppers, those affected leaves on my rhubarb for aphids, I believe they were. Aphids and or white flies, I'm not sure. But I don't need to be sure. I just need to see a bunch of little white things at the tip of my, da my damn plants and they gotta go. My mint, look how big and beautiful these leaves are on, my, on that mint though. Again, these are ready to be transplanted. My sorrel. Callaloo harvest uh, this morning. Yes. Y'all know I bring a bowl of water out. Drown any bugs in before I go in, inside. I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to harvest these. So you go in on the side and you just snap downward. A little stream that comes off, but that's okay. Go in and snap downward. They pick up so easily. Snap downward. And they're pretty much pest resistant. You don't see, you don't see any pests there. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and top this off to see if that encourages more growth. Because I'm curious and I have enough seeds to hold me for a minute. At least I know that they will go to seed for me. Let me finish finish harvesting these and cut this one back to see what I get. And the thing about it too is that these stems, much like the spinach, quite edible too. I'm gonna cut that side branch off. They're easy to prune there. Get some of these side branches. I was wondering if trimming these side branches back were what was causing them to um, Or what was causing them to go to seed but that can't be because i didn't trim these side branches i only trim the side branches on this the tallest one there so there's that like you'll see when when it's being cooked that a lot of people will strip take this stripping off the side of the main stem but i'm eating the eating the shit out of it so 